In this video, we'll balance the equation for iron 3 nitrate plus potassium hydroxide. Let's count the atoms up on each side of the equation. We have one iron atom, and then this NO3 group, it's called a nitrate group. It's a polyatomic ion. We have a nitrate here and a nitrate here. So it stays together in the chemical reaction. So we're just going to call this one item. So we have the one nitrate times the three. That gives us three nitrates. That's going to make balancing a lot easier. We have one potassium. And then we have this OH group, it's called the hydroxide. We have it here and here. So we're just going to say we have one hydroxide. On the product side of the equation, iron, we have one. We have one nitrate here, one potassium, and then three of these hydroxides. Let's take and fix the nitrate here first. It looks like we'll need to put a three in front of the KNO3, the potassium nitrate. That means we have the one nitrate times the three, and that'll give us three nitrates. So those are balanced, but three applies to everything. We have the one potassium times the three. It gives us three of those. Let's fix the potassiums. That'll probably fix the hydroxides. We put a three as our coefficient in front of the KOH. We have one potassium times three. That gives us three, so those are balanced. And then we have the hydroxide, one hydroxide times three. That's balanced. And we're done. This equation is balanced. So you can see by counting these polyatomic ions as just one item, if they appear on both sides of the equation, that makes the balancing a lot easier and less prone to error. This is Dr. B with the balanced equation for FeNO3 3 plus KOH. Thanks for watching.